Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Waves. In this Studio Rack Unchained video, we're gonna be taking a look at a preset by producer and mix engineer, Matt Schaefer, whose credits include The All-American Rejects, Kendrick Lamar, and Baby Keem, just to name a few. Now, the preset that we're gonna be taking a look at is called Basic Rap Vocals. So, if you struggle mixing rap vocals, you find it difficult to sit them in a mix, then this preset may help you. So, let's have a listen to what this preset can do. But first, let's take a listen to a small extract of a song I've put together for this demonstration. From the shadows of death, we are guarded. Never once have I heard a since it started. We're dearly departed. But we pro like athletes, real like actors. God do bless and that can't be a factor. The ground sort of brown, but there's still many tractors. We blossom in the desert, the world's X Factor. Ha, and we the world's X Factor. Okay, so we've got a well-recorded rap vocal there, but you'll notice by looking at the waveform, it has got quite a wide dynamic range. So certain bits of it are getting lost in the mix and other bits are poking out a little bit too much. Now let's take a listen to what Matt's Studio Rack preset basic rap vocals can do for this. First, let's take a quick look at how this is set up and you'll notice we haven't got any macros here. That's not a criticism, it's an observation and also an opportunity because what you can do, if there's any particular plugin in here or control that you want to add to these macros, feel free to do so, make it your own. Matt put this together very much as a starting point preset. So let's take a look at what he's used. In the first insert, we've got Renaissance EQ. There's a couple of points of interest here. We've got a little bit of attenuation here at the top end, just to help tame harshness. And at the bottom end, instead of having an aggressive high pass filter, removing all the rumble out of a voice, he's done a low shelf, just so there's still some low end energy still at this point. Next in the chain, Renaissance Compressor, followed by the SSL E channel for a little bit of top end sparkle. And next in the chain, Renaissance Deessa. So far, we've got two stages of harshness control. Now, the reason for that is the more compression you apply, generally this can pronounce sibilance, which can upset the mix a little bit. Threshold here and range controls to play around with. Set these to taste, depending on your vocal. And after that, we've got a parallel split. For everything thus far, these four plugins are going to be running through rack one. And we've got independent level control of that here. But in rack two, the parallel process, the affected, we've got an instance of CLA 76 and it's set up to be quite aggressive. Followed by the Puigtech passive EQ, got a little bit of attenuation again going on down in the lower mids with a tiny little boost up in the airy frequencies. After that, another instance of Deessa, this being Waves Sibilance. And we have the control down here for that parallel process. So it's parallel compression, really, with a bit of EQ and harshness control. Now, let's take a listen to what this can do out of the box. From the shadows of death, we are guarded. Never once have I heard a since it started. We're dearly departed. But we pro like athletes, real like actors. God do bless and that can't be a factor. The ground sort of brown, but there's still many tractors. We blossom in the desert, the world's X Factor. <laughs> are we the world's X Factor? That's a pretty good job, and we can see that there's a bit of gain reduction going on over there. But if you wanted just a bit more gain reduction out of this, and you didn't want to be jumping into each of the plugins here, you can set up a very simple macro that can increase the input level and at the same time bring down the level at the output. Let me show you how to set this up. So let's assign macro number one to input, assign macro number one, so the same to the output, hop into the editor, we're gonna flip the direction of travel on this output. So as it stands, if we twist this macro, they both increase. That's not what we wanna do here. So back in the edit, flip the control range around on the output, see what happens there. Right, we notice that the fader is no longer at unity. So we wanna set a minimum range here on the output to zero and a max, let's say minus 15. And if we limit the macro range, say to about halfway, bring it back a little bit. Let's see how this behaves. So we've got the macro all the way up the middle to match the input over here on the output. That's at zero. If we just increase ever so slightly the input, we notice increased input gain and decreased output gain. So let's use this macro to drive signal into the chain carefully, making sure we don't clip it, but at the same time bring the output down, which in turn compensates for the level differences at the dynamic stages in this preset. From the shadows of death, we are guarded. Never once have I heard a since it started. We're dearly departed. But we pro like athletes, real like actors. God do bless and that can't be a factor. The ground sort of brown, but there's still many tractors. We 
we blossom in the desert, the world's X Factor. <laughs> Are we the world's X Factor? Now let's take a listen to that parallel on its own. So if we turn off rack one, being the dry signal, let's just hear what this mixture here of CLA76, Passive EQ and Sibilance are doing. From the shadows of death we are guarded. Never once have I heard a sentence started. we dearly depart. It's quite an aggressive sound. Let's blend this in a little bit more, hear what we can achieve with that just a bit louder in the mix. And again, I'm going to make use of an available macro there, number two. And I'm going to call this one Attitude. Let's take another listen. From the shadows of death we are guarded. Never once have I heard a sentence started. we dearly departed. But we pro like athletes, real like actors. God do bless and that can't be a factor. The ground sort of brown, but there's still many tractors. We blossom in the desert, the world's X Factor. Ha, are we the world's X Factor? That sounds nice, much better. There's a nice bit of sizzle in his voice there, thanks in part to this parallel rack. Harshness is controlled and the dynamic range is squished to help the intelligibility of the rapper's lyrics. Now you may have noticed I've been using Studio Rack as a stereo instance. You can of course use this preset as a mono instance, but I'd recommend going for a mono to stereo component because you leave your options open to add extra effects in this if you wish. Things like stereo reverbs and stereo delays. Let's do a quick before and after. From the shadows of death we are guarded. Never once have I heard a sentence started. we dearly departed. But we pro like athletes, real like actors. God do bless and that can't be a factor. The ground sort of brown, but there's still many tractors. We blossom in the desert, the world's X Factor. Ha, are we the world's X Factor? Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. If you haven't yet got your free copy of Studio Rack, be sure to click that card at the top right of the screen, link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.